We're on the breakwater here in, in Iqaluit, and today was our aquarium day, and uh, our dive team braved one degree Celsius waters to go down to 50 feet to collect uh, representative samples of the wildlife that lives in the oceans here. As you descended on, on a line, it became a little bit more clear, but the ground was all sand. Critters were on the sand, so they were easy to locate, but the water was very, very, very cold. Within minutes of being in the water, we were already filling our mesh bags. And so we use mesh bags for, uh, to store the animals while during the dive because we can't hold them in our hands. And then we use a special net, uh, a, a long net that allows us, for example, for catching fish, the fish will swim into the net and then you can block off the, the opening and then you transfer to the mesh bag. When the fish are in a Ziploc bag, they also uh, won't eat some of their usual prey. So if they're all mixed together and they're isolated, so they, if you have some shrimp, for example, the sculpin won't be able to eat the shrimp. So there is a lot of planning to do. You have to do it, uh, uh, pay attention as well, because the animals are not out in the open all the time. The isopods were just everywhere. When you want to find sculpin, you have to move their cover and then they're relatively easy to catch. Greenland shrimp are, are very beautiful. They're big shrimp. They're very docile, so you can actually just put your hand right under them and pick them up. In terms of what the, the group collected, we've got isopods, we've got sculpins, whelks and clams, and snails, and my favorite of all time, a nudibranch, which is a beautiful orange color. I'm putting animals in the tank that were just freshly collected. What's that? For a lot of these children and even some of the adults, they've never seen these animals before free swimming. So for example, in the sculpins, they don't observe them in the water, they catch them on lines, but they've never seen them swimming in the tank before. And uh, similarly, some of the shellfish and even the nudibranchs and the brittle stars and uh, some of the other shrimp, they simply don't see these animals because they don't swim and because the ocean is covered by uh, ice nine months of the year. This one is a green sea urchin. This one I know the scientific name. It's called Strongolus centrotus drobachiensis. As part of our social license to operate, we, we need to integrate with the community. We need to collaborate and we need to uh, learn from the community. And in fact, we're learning much more from them than they are from us. And we've learned the Inuktitut names for some of the animals that we've uh, uh, presented today in the aquariums. So the experience was wonderful. It was my first time collecting animals. Uh, in, in reality, a lot of them, and it was a wonderful experience. It was fun actually putting them in their bags and then transport them here to the aquariums for the community to see. And the, the children are having a blast looking at all the animals in the aquariums and learning about the ocean. So it's very gratifying to be able to do that kind of work in order to bring it to the eye level for the kids. And maybe one of them will study science one day and continue to protect the ocean. With one child that you change here, you can change the world.